Did you know a new building in the world could beat the Burj Khalifa soon? Shocking right. But Japan's new skyscraper will dwarf Burj Khalifa in just a few years. From the Horiyuji Temple, one of the oldest wooden buildings still in existence in the world, to the Shinkansen, the world's first high-speed rail line. Japanese infrastructure construction has had a relatively significant impact on global architecture for a country only slightly larger than Texas. However, Japan is currently engaged in new skyscraper construction. What is the project's name? What's the name of a contemporary Japanese skyscraper? Did it dwarf the Burj Khalifa? To find out, watch the video until the end. Hello and welcome to Building the Future. In today's video, we are going to talk about the Burj Khali, for will be dwarfed by Japan's new skyscraper. But before we continue, just take a moment to subscribe to our channel, Building the Future, and hit the notification bell for more amazing videos just like this one. Without further ado, let's get started on today's video. The next Tokyo Project's new building, which will surpass the Burj Khalifa as the tallest structure in the world, is intended to become the world's tallest building. There won't be a single building in the skyscraper, dubbed Next Tokyo, and slated to be built on Tokyo Bay, an inlet in the southeast of the city. According to the Architectural Digest, if it is allowed, a series of hexagonal man-made islands will surround it. In addition to housing 500,000 people, the island would reportedly be transformed into a miniature city to fight climate change. The islands would also serve as a flood barrier. Electricity will be produced using solar panels, algae farms, and wind turbines. The structure will gather, filter, and store water from the atmosphere. The building will have cable-free elevators that can move vertically and horizontally. The construction, now known as the SkyMile Tower, is expected to be 5,577 feet tall and provide room for up to 55,000 people. By 2045, the building is expected to be finished. Let's take a look inside this incredibly tall structure in Tokyo Bay, an inlet southeast of the Japanese capital, which can accommodate up to 55,000 people. Officials in Japan decided to start a program named Next Tokyo, in which architects would design a futuristic megacity that was climate change adapted in the year 2045. A new city in Tokyo Bay has been proposed by Cone Peterson Fox Associates and Leslie E. Robertson Associates in collaboration. Their design includes a mile-high residential tower, a convenient public transportation district, and features that enhance the bay's preparedness for natural catastrophes, such as earthquakes and typhoons. Tokyo will eventually have a district covering 12.5 square kilometers on an artificial archipelago. Tokyo Bay will be located halfway between the coastal settlements of Kawasaki and Kisarazu, the project was designed to safeguard the city's low-lying sections from the dangers of typhoons, earthquakes, and floods. It has been planned to contain structural components, such as faceted breakwater bars and floodgates that can be opened and closed to form flood barriers and offer protection from intense storms. Additionally, some buildings would have water inside them, making it possible to access islands that serve as public harbors for beaches and urban farms. To develop algae, a renewable and clean fuel source, salt water from the bay would also be kept. The Eco District will also have hexagonal rings 150 to 1,500 meters wide, which will lessen the effect of the storms while enabling ships to pass through. Circles of various sizes can serve different objectives. High-density development will be accommodated in the most petite rings, while the medium rings will provide water storage. Low-density housing, open areas, and pedestrian paths will all be located within the hexagonal rings that make up the perimeter. The design will be transit-oriented and include regional lines, tunnels, and a novel vacuum tube transportation system based on Elon Musk's current research and development. The mile-high skyscraper is one concept element that has received much attention, known as Sky Mile Tower. It would rise 5,577 feet or twice as high as the Burj Khalifa, the tallest structure in the world. 
Sky Mile Tower is a concept design for a tall building imagined by architects Kohn Peterson Fox Associates for Tokyo, Japan in 2045. The Mile High Tower is planned as a part of Next Tokyo, a resurgent megacity with a high-density eco-district made of resilient infrastructure that can adapt to climate change. With increasing sea levels and more significant typhoon threats, the low-lying coastal metropolis of Next Tokyo has been conceptualized for research and development purposes. The tower has a tapering shape with vertical slats that will act as open-air sky decks along its length, enabling the wind to pass through. It comprises numerous sets of three connected construction legs and is shaped to fit within a hexagonal space. Every 320 meters, a collection of building legs is positioned in such a way as to overlap with one another sequentially, forming sky lobbies. There will be between 60 and 90 stories in each building leg. The tower's structure has been built to withstand the force of the wind load. The building's walls will have concrete shear walls on the outside and mega brace walls on the inside. Large steel trusses span the typical floors between the two sets of building legs. The concrete finishing binds the plane frames on which the steel framework is mounted. The perimeter's small columns will support the concrete floor framing, and they are further supported at intervals of 30 or 40 stories by belt trusses, which transfer the weight to the concrete shear walls. The skyscraper will have an adjustable exterior that will allow for collecting clouds as a water source. Gravity will be used to disperse the water, collecting and storing it at various levels instead of spending time and money pumping it up from the ground. By utilizing the cold air found on the upper floors, the height of the highly tall building will aid in reducing the heating load at the lowest possible energy and monetary cost. In addition to mechanical recycling, cloud harvesting and rainwater catchment devices will also be used. The Mile High Tower is planned as a component of Next Tokyo, a resurgent megacity with a high-density eco-district made of design phase that can adapt to climate change. An anaerobic digester will be available to handle organic waste and produce natural gas to power tri-generation plants. The residential tower will be 1,375 million square meters with a density of roughly 25 square meters per person. Multi-level sky lobbies, shared public facilities, stores, eateries, hotels, gyms, libraries, and clinics will all be included. The tower will also feature cutting-edge technology like this Encrup's MVLT Magnetic Levation Elevator System. Are you wondering, why is this Magnetic Levation Elevator System being used? So the answer is, the building will be outfitted with this Encrup elevators, allowing tenants to travel horizontally and vertically and converse more quickly across units. Artificial islands will be erected around Sky Mile Tower to shield the coast from the damaging effects of flood waves, especially those brought on by seismic disturbances. The building's hexagonal shape was chosen after a series of wind tests revealed that the structure's aerodynamics provided the results that were the most wind resistant. The architect's main concern was how to pump and distribute water to people a mile up in the air. To solve this problem, they created a facade that could collect, clean, and store water at different tower levels, while depending on gravity for a natural distribution. According to Next Tokyo representatives, should the idea be approved, the value of additional waterfront residences in Tokyo Bay might help pay for the project's construction. The Sky Mile Tower's facade is built to collect, filter, and store water from the atmosphere to eliminate the need for water pumps on the top floors. It is also planned to use solar and wind power to generate electricity. The people are not left in the cold by the ecological component of this area. Residents can access various amenities like restaurants, gyms, libraries, and health facilities. Although this concept still needs approval before implementation, the architects might find it challenging to compete with this structure. What do you think of this upcoming mega project? Do you find traditional or modern architecture more impressive? Let us know in the comment box. We hope you have enjoyed this video. Feel free to share your thoughts down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Building the Future, and hit the bell icon for more intriguing content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.